muscle mass as you age, independent of how much fat you have, okay? That will determine how healthy you are as you age. It's kind of true up to a BMI of about 30, but once you get over that, it doesn't matter how much muscle mass you are carrying, you are putting yourself at a higher risk of mortality and chronic disease. Now I'm talking about going into the 60s and the 70s. People with really high BMIs when they get into their 60s and 70s, they tend to actually pass away before that. Muscle mass is actually particularly relevant for this age grouping, but if you're younger, having a high BMI at the cost of being like heavier if you want to have more muscle mass is going to reduce the likelihood that you're even going to make it to 60 or 70. As you get older, the most crucial bit of information is to maintain resistance training. All right, we're on the same page here. Not lifting, and that's not what I'm talking about sitting on a wall, getting up and down a chair. Okay, while he is right that there are tests like the sit to stand test that are very heavily indicative of your mortality risk, especially as you get older, the idea that these are all you need to do to, or the things you should be doing to maintain your muscle mass and strength as you age is completely wrong. Old people should be resistance training and lifting weights.